a child of God, the Lord God that you serve is unleashing his wrath. Is unleashing his wrath upon your adversaries, upon your enemies, those who refuse that you would have peace, those who are denied you your blessings, those who are denied you peace of mind, those who are contending against your life. They have been fighting you with all of their resources. They are fighting you night and day. They told you you are going to suffer. They told you you will live in pain all the days of your life. They are a child of God. God would make sure they would all be overthrown in the mighty name of Jesus. The word of God says, You overthrew your adversaries by your great majesty. He said you unleashed your burning wrath. It consumed them like stubble, my God. He said they were consumed like stubble. Dear child of God, believe the word of God. For everyone who had contended against your life, they would be consumed like stubble in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, he unleashed his power. He unleashed his might. And he made sure they were all brought down. Dear child of God, he made sure that none of them could ever fight or succeed against God's people anymore. My God, dear child of God, believe the word of God. If he said he would do this, he would do this and bring his word to pass. He says, when you lifted up your power, Exodus 15 verse 7. He says, when you are lifted up in power, all those who come against you are crushed, my God. He says, when you send out your wrath, they are burnt up like dry grass. Dear child of God, they'll be burnt up. Those who vowed that your life will be pained. Those who vowed that you will see sorrow in your life. Those who vow that you see afflictions in your life, dear child of God, those who vow that your life would end in misery, God is bringing his word today that is arising in his greatness and majesty and then he will make sure they are broken down. He would unleash his wrath upon them all. He would make sure they will be burnt in the name of Jesus. He said the abundance of his majesty will be thrown, yes, he will be thrown against them and they will be crushed, they will be destroyed, they will be brought down, dear child of God. The greatness of God's excellency will be working for you today. You have believed in him. You have trusted in him to come fight for you. And he's saying to you, I will fight for you. I will do all that you desire me to do for you. He says, your right hand, O Lord, was majestic in power. Dear child of God, you will be able to say, I've seen your hand. I've seen your might. I've seen your strength. I've seen your saving grace. And I've seen your deliverance. He says, your right hand, O Lord, shattered the enemies my god exodus 15 verse 6 he said your right hand of god shattered the enemies dear child of god those who are contending against your life they shall be shattered they shall be destroyed they shall be broken down in the mighty name of jesus he said he raised his fist against them and he made sure that they saw the terrible side of god the lord god of heaven yahweh who is glorious in power is arising for you today and he will dash all the enemies, yes, every one of them. They shall be crushed, they shall be consumed, and they shall be destroyed. In the mighty name of Jesus. That situation that is taking your peace of mind, that situation that of course joy to vanish away from you. Dear child of God, that circumstance that have made you to cry night and day, that situation that made you to live in fear today, God is dealing with it. God is going to arise and to make sure that everything is destroyed. None of those things that withstood you in the past would ever succeed anymore in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is your strength, dear child of God. The Lord is your might. He would arise and he will make sure all those that should be destroyed, they shall be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The word of God had made us to know in Psalms 89 verse 12. You have made the north and south, Tabo and Ammon, are sounding with joy at your name. It says, yours is in an arm of power strong is your hand and high your right hand my god he said this psalms 89 12 and 13 dear child of god you would have reasons to rejoice for the victories that the lord will bring unto you in the mighty name of jesus he said you made them all those in those region he said you made them to sound with joy to sing with joy to raise up their voices in joy because your strength your arm that arm that was strong in power had come through and lifted them up and brought them victory dear child of god this is how you see the saving grace of god's might this is how you see the deliverances of god in the mighty name of jesus and this will cause you to rejoice this will cause you to sing in praises unto god 
in the mighty name of Jesus. God, yes, the Lord is rising for you. See the word of God says, O Lord God of armies, who is strong like you, O Jah, and your unchanging faith is round about you. He said, O God, O Yahweh, who is as strong like you? Who is as strong like you? Who is as strong like you? Dear child of God, there is none as strong like your God. And there is no one that can stand against you and succeed. They may do all that they want to do, but they will fail. Because the Lord God of heaven is the one fighting for you. The Lord God of heaven is the one bringing you that victory. And he's saying the sound of joy, the sound of joy, the sound of joy will surround your home in the mighty name of Jesus because of the valiant things he will do in your life and in your family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God's word stated very clear in Psalms 118 verse 15. He says the sound of joy and salvation is in the tents of the upright. The right hand of the Lord does works of wonders. He says the right hand of the Lord do it valiantly. This is the voice of rejoicing. Dear child of God, this is the voice of rejoicing. Yes, the voice of rejoicing is coming to your home today. You will dance, you will rejoice for the victories of the Lord, for the salvation that the Lord has wrought in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He says, you have the song. You have the song to sing, the songs of deliverance, the songs of deliverance for Yahweh has done you. He says, oh Lord, you are my strength. He says, you are my song. You have given me victory. Dear child of God, you will testify, for the Lord will bring you victory in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, you will testify, for the Lord will bring you victory in the mighty name of Jesus. You have saw the face of Yahweh is coming through for you, and it will give you reasons to rejoice. It will give you reasons to dance. It will give you reasons to testify, because He had unleashed His wrath upon your enemies, upon the situations that did not want you to succeed, upon that circumstance that did not want you to see the light of the day, those situations that wanted you crushed and destroyed, those situations that wanted you gone and forgotten, those situations that wanted you pained forever, those situations that wanted you become afflicted and down, that wanted you gone before time, those situations shall be gone, they shall be crushed, the people behind it, he said they would unleash his wrath against them, they shall be burnt, they shall be consumed like grasses, like stubble, they shall be destroyed. And you would have the songs of deliverance. You would have the songs of victory, knowing that Yahweh had brought you victory. Dear child of God, guess it, for you will testify of the victories of God that he had wrought in your life and in that of your family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yahweh is going to give you a testimony today. So do not worry. Look at that situation and say you'll be gone in the name of Jesus. Look at that predicament and say God is sending his wrath. He's unleashing his wrath and you'll be gone in the name of Jesus. Look at that pain and say to it, Yahweh is arising. He's unleashing his wrath and that pain shall be consumed and destroyed in the name of Jesus. He says you overthrow your adversaries. Dear child of God, you would overthrow your adversaries. You would overthrow anything the enemies were trying to do to destroy your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever it was that they were doing to crush you, you shall overcome them all in the name of Jesus. Believe God. Believe God. For your victory is sure. It is settled and nothing will stop you from testifying. Dear child of God, nothing, nothing whatsoever will stop you from testifying in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I call it done for it is settled and you are an overcomer in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you. Shalom.